Precious family, praise God. Hoping you're doing fine. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Terry and this is Memories of My Life. So today, guys, today's video is all about learning. You're going to go back to class and I will be sharing with you the things that you should know as a YouTuber or the things that I never knew before starting my YouTube channel. So the first thing, there are so many things that I never knew. And I'm going to be sharing with you. So maybe someone some, somewhere is watching this video. Stick to that and you're going to learn something. So the first thing that I never knew or you should know as a YouTuber is content. What are you offering to your people? What do you want your channel to look like? Or what, what content do you desire to have as your channel? So I never knew about that. I just knew that I want to start a YouTube channel. And I was so confused because I'm a chef. I thought of maybe I'll be blogging about cooking. But I never knew. As in I, I just ne didn't have that choice of maybe doing that. And I was totally confused. So I didn't want one challenge. I didn't want to do one specific thing. And I thought maybe cooking would limit me. So I decided to do vlogging. And uh, vlogging is all about you can choose to do very many videos at one time without choosing one specific video so vlogging is all is all about doing random videos so i decided to, to choose that and that was good so guys if you are there and you, you are about to start a youtube channel please sit down and think about your content what do you want about your channel so yeah that is the first thing that you need to know yeah so the second thing is about copyright copyright is using someone else property using someone else's music to post on your videos or something like that so i never knew using copyright music is wrong and actually i did a video of uh, my favorite worship song and i included a music that is copyrighted and i never knew that was wrong and until someone told me that i am not supposed to use copyright music so if only i knew i would not have posted that video and uh, after that i deleted that video and it costed me a lot i'm not sure uh, i don't want to tell you what you what you lose after deleting a video because i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's, it is about watch time of the viewers but that one costs you a lot so you don't want to post a hundred videos and they all have copyright music so how do you know that you have copyright music as a YouTuber, you must have a YouTube studio. YouTube studio helps you to know if you have copyrighted music on your videos. So when you post your videos, you go back to YouTube studio, there is dashboard, and then there is next videos. So you select all your videos, and before even selecting, you'll see that YouTube has highlighted all the videos that are copyrighted or have copyrighted things there inside. So as a YouTuber, you must have YouTube studio. That one is not even we are not even going to argue about that. That one is compulsory. You must have YouTube Studio. So the other thing, um, actually YouTube Studio has very many things. It has tags. The use of tags is to help you know, or when you post a video, maybe you are doing a video of beauty, and someone somewhere else is watching a video concerning beauty, he or she will be recommended to, to watch your video down there. So yeah, tags helps you to do so. I never knew the use of tags, description, and all that. So YouTube Studio helps you to know very many things. In case you want to hide also your subscribers, you can also use YouTube. You just uh, Google you, uh, YouTube uh, at com dot com dot something like that, and then it will direct you to your channel, and you'll see the option of hiding your account of subscribers. So you must have YouTube. So the other YouTube studio. So the other thing is sub for sub. Actually, I should have mentioned this as the first thing. Sub for sub is a dangerous thing, guys. If you want to start a YouTube studio, please don't opt for sub for sub. Sub for sub is maybe someone has a YouTube channel and he or she will text you, please subscribe this as I also subscribe to your channel. Yes, he or she will do that. But you will wake up one day and find that 20 subscribers are no more. Where did they go? So YouTube checks if one has subscribed to your channel and he or she is not watching your videos. So that one costs you a lot. So don't opt for sub for sub people. I would rather co recommend you to have permanent subscribers, loyal subscribers who will be there watching your videos, who will always wait until you post your videos and they watch 
even full as in they watch the whole of your content other than having sub for subscribe subscribers who will never watch what they do they just go and click that subscription subscription button button and they will never come back to your channel again so that one is very very dangerous so if you want sub for sub subscribers uh, advise those people to watch your videos at least two to three minutes that one will be very very helpful so i never knew about that and i i would wake up and find three subscribers are no more and i would wonder are people subscribing to my channel and subscribing to my channel and it is very painful as a youtuber losing one subscriber is very very painful so you don't want that so check on that so the other thing is about time if you want to be a youtuber be ready to sacrifice your time more. be ready because editing needs time editing needs a lot of time you need to time to concentrate on what you're editing you need concentration because you have so many clips and you want to to make them as one video so you need concentration and concentration comes hand in hand with time so you need time you must sacrifice your sleep sleep up to even late at night editing your videos and by the way if you are not if you do not know how to edit your videos by yourself i don't think youtube is for you you must learn how to edit your videos by your own so if you want to edit by your own you must sacrifice for time so as a youtuber you must sacrifice time because you need time to shoot your videos and all that so time is the key so the other thing that one i never knew so i would take like three hours editing a video and i was like oh, I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to do this, this but after i knew that youtube needs time then i just got used to that so the other thing is about consistency my friend there are those who post video uh january and the next video will be on august who told you uh, youtube needs consistency if you are uploading a video make sure that you are consistent with whatever you are posting if it is a posting after two days make sure that you're consistent with two days and stick to that you don't want to upload a video January and the next video will be at on August. That one will cost you because when you post a video after two days, you'll keep your audience on track. They will be there watching your videos. They, when you post your videos and maybe share on all social media platforms at each and every after each and every two days, you will keep your audience on on track and they'll be there they'll, they they when they open Facebook, when they open Instagram, Twitter, they, the first thing they see is your link. So you are keeping them on track. So consistency is the key as a YouTuber. Consistent. Be consistent with your videos. And when you're consistent, you gain watch time, you gain viewers, you gain subscribers. As in, that one is very, very helpful. So I never knew because um, I thought maybe when I upload a video, I'll, I'll, I'll upload it next on maybe next week after a month. So I never knew about that. And I knew I would be very, very fast. So the next quality, quality, quality. Post a video that is more of quality. Don't just post a video for posting, for the sake of posting. Make sure that your video is much more of quality. Okay? I hope you are together about that. So the other thing is about start with whatever you have. Start with whatever you have. If you do not have camera, don't stress yourself looking for expensive cameras. If you're using you're using your phone to to maybe shoot your videos, be contented with that little phone that you have. Don't go looking for expensive cameras or stressing yourself that ah I'll not I'll not shoot any more videos because I don't have camera. Who told you? Start with whatever little that you have. And there are those silly queens who say, oh, I won't shoot a video because my hair is not well done. I won't shoot my video because I don't have nails and my nails are not done. My friend, use whatever you have. Make use of whatever you have. Don't stress yourself looking for expensive things to start a YouTube channel. Are we together? I hope we are. So the other thing is all about watch time. I never knew that you're supposed to have a full thousand watch time viewers 100 subscribers and one uh, 1000 subscribers and 1000 viewers for you to be monetized on youtube and even before even i started a youtube i think starting a youtube was just post okay I, I i wanted to start youtube i was really really pushed to starting a youtube channel but i never knew the rules so 
you must know what you want you must know what you, how or where you want to, to get how many subscribers do you desire in one month how many subscribers do you want in a week all right as you post your videos post with a purpose as if i'm posting this video so that i can gain 10 subscribers in this video 10 viewers in this video as in post with a purpose for you to reach to where you want to go so those are the things maybe i never knew before i started a youtube channel and, and if maybe i knew i would be very far but all said and done i did those mistakes and mistakes are done for you to learn so i i do not regret i actually thank god that i learned them and now that i i know all about those things i now can move on very very well so maybe you are there and you want to start a youtube channel and maybe you're asking yourself oh uh, those those things are so many i don't think i can make no don't be discouraged start right now and never stop if you want to go far with your youtube channel never stop at anything don't listen to those people who are telling you oh you're just bragging you're just showing off you're just doing videos for the sake of it as in you don't know even what you want are you there to listen to what people are saying let people talk listen to with this ear and let it move with his other ear so don't listen to what people are telling you start your video start with what you have use whatever you have as in just be you that is the thing and never stop at anything don't listen to people don't listen to anyone telling you that you're doing the, the wrong thing just do your thing and everything will be right so yeah guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you haven't please do so see you next time on the next video i hope you've learned something so shalom guys bye bye thank you